How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial. This is for Like a Tattoo by Sade. There she is, above my bed. Um, Sade, sensational. Um, one of my favourite artists ever. Um, if you haven't listened to much Sade, please go and have a look. I'm going to be doing a few tutorials for some of her songs. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do any specific songs of hers. She's got a deep catalogue. Um, but without further ado, this is the song. that's all the chords in the song. So, we'll go through those. First shape you have to get familiar with is this minor 9 shape. Or is it minor 11? I don't remember. Either way, put your bottom three fingers on the third fret on the A string, the G string, and the B string. So, one down from the top one, skip a string, and then the, last, the second last two. Put your index finger on the first fret. This shape will be used here and then up on the eighth fret. And we're just gonna go back and forth between that and that. So that's the verse. Verse one, you're just strumming. At the end of each verse, instead of going back down, you go, which is changing this, which is an F minor 9, we'll go with F minor 9, uh, you're then barring the 8th fret, and you're going 8, 10, oh, sorry, we're on the 6th fret here, aren't we? Barring the 6th fret, 6, 8, 7. Eight, six. So it's like a backwards triangle shape with these last three fingers. So I'll just play it fast. Let me start again. Now, at the second part of the verse, there's a key change. And the lyric is hungry for and then it goes same shape as the first two, but now these three fingers are on the sixth fret. It's an E flat major nine uh, minor nine. Now we go to G minor seven. So it, back to that chord now, and now we're just going to bar the first fret without the top string. To G minor 7, which is the third fret barred, back, first fret barred, interlude. If you want to solo along to the interlude, it's the 8th fret pentatonic. Back up. Back up. First fret. And the 
us the song. Thanks, guys.